Hello there and welcome to a new series, Indie Wednesday. This is where on every alternate Wednesday I'll play a new indie game or share playthrough highlights of one that I've already started. All that said, today's game is Cat Souls. I mean Nine Souls. I came across this game about one or two weeks ago through Steam's Discovery Queue and the description says Sekiro inspired deflection focused combat. I could not resist. It's complete hand-drawn apparently, I looked it up on the internet and this is actually a demo version. The full version is gonna come out on 2023 so that's quite a bit of wait but looking at description that it's a Sekiro like based on parry mechanic. Man I am really super in, in for this. That's you okay. Oh my god okay zero is fine. <laughs> Man it looks beautiful at the get-go itself. Let's just start the demo. Okay. Bell rings, or what is it, is it called a bell or something else? I don't know. Whatever, it's poof, let's go. Ah, looks beautiful, man. Looks the art style looks amazing. It's you can tell it's hand drawn. Look at all these shades on the rocks and stuff. It's a bit of gore, gore here and there. It's themes. This kind of reminds me of Mechaco City Actress, you know. Oof. One scene after the other, man. Yuan Yuan. Okay, this is definitely a Chinese developer. I smell barbecue fish all the way back there, so I knew you'd be here. Oh, okay. Okay, we have dialogue options. Look at that. Huh. I wonder if this is gonna later on have impact on the story. Okay, I guess we can move around now. Okay, the, the movement is a bit heavy on the heavy side. Like you can feel feel the weight of the character on this movement. Used to it. A for jump. Okay, the jump is light though. Oh. Okay. You can actually hold on to the ledge like this. Cool. I don't have a double jump, but all right. I will receive a lot of potential for platforming and also combat uh, combat movements. You have to time it well though if, if you want to do that uh, wall hop. Not that hard to time it honestly, but still. Plus A to jump down, okay. So hold to jump higher, okay. Pick up is B, that is interaction. Dead man's, dead man's note. Took text card into ground using stone mad, everyone gone mad. Press X to attack. Oh. Okay, let me just... So basically we have three variations in swings, unlike in Hollow Knight though. Left, right, upper, um, up to down. There's no recoil, but rather he just moves ahead. I think it's about a one second window until I can actually dash again. And hibiscus, I'll need it during the ceremony. And we have a orc tails there. <laughs> Three tail pork. Either way, I think both of the choices just lead to the same thing that I'll have to go uh, go get it from there. And uh, one more thing that I wanted to actually check. I forgot completely what I wanted to check. You push L on the wall to wall run. Okay, so every wall that's gonna have a serpent on them, we can actually wall run. The movement mechanics has already taken up the notch. Excellent. I'm not taking damage though. Give me some damage. Me. Yeah. No, I'm not taking any damage. Pick up. What's the fall damage like? No fall damage at all. No impact even either actually. Alright, I bought the fire flower back. You're not injured, are you? You don't even attack. Oh man. Oh man. Market is really bustle bustling today. I'm grateful for the soul too. Means nine soul. I wonder whose soul whose soul is. So we are gonna walk and walk in this section. And he has something to say. For harvesting the souls, select several kinds of humans from our lands and these lucky individuals get to become one of these souls. Kind of fishy. Look at these people blindly going about their day. They actually think they are doing something meaningful. Well, you're not doing anything meaningful either by drinking. Must be joyful, but none of them came back to tell us so. No one really knows. Yep, that's definitely fishy. Last time we'll go walking together in the woods. Why is that? I believe it was me that was chosen. I see. So far the game is really just giving me cutscenes and I mean sort of comic dialogue scenes. I prefer to play the game a bit, please. Okay, so I cannot go out. I cannot jump. I cannot run. I have to walk through this. 
I don't like it when game, games does this honestly. Okay, so this seems like the ceremony ground over here and we are there. Let's see what happens. Um, bro, bro, that, that's not... We are literally beheading them. After this guy gets his head chopped off. Or rather, it's not been chopped off. This is fucking twisted out. Oh, you're gonna save him? Please tell me you're gonna save him. Comic panels, that's cool. RB to attack. Okay, we saved our boy. Okay, so we are finally in the level of combat. So a lot of things up there. RB is something, then up on the hatch button is also there's something. That the HP bar, I don't know what the tree does. LB to deflect, let's do this. RB to attack full charm on enemy. Hold RB to detonate full charm. Oh. Holy shit, that's amazing. Heal, uh, up to heal. Okay, so those are healing bottles. Got it. And that's amazing. So this is that... Oh, look at this. So this is deflection and uh, this, this is attack over here. What's this? So this is the bonfire over here and bonfire is thing okay so that those healing flasks actually acts as estes flask over here and that's nice Ow. Ow. all right this is gonna be really interesting let me try that once again Right, we have to can actually combine all these things. It does actually gives us iframes, huh? And what is this? It's probably that body, those bodies which are which are decapitated or something. We have a. Uh, And this is hard. Shit, this is hard, all right. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna get it from back, right back from the. No, wait, what? I don't understand a single thing that you're saying. <laughs> Okay, so I need to perform X to attack, RT to dodge enemy attack. Fine form now, let's practice some more advanced combat skills. Uh, still not sure. Accurately deflect the enemy attack and accumulate Chi. Press RB to pour Chi into Fu Charm. I say I need to keep on holding that thing. Shit, that's hard, man. Shit, that's hard, all right. There you go. Oh, man, this is this is fun. This is really fun. It's a new type of enemy.
shit, man. Uh, oh, one more thing. Actually, I cannot swing downwards or upwards over here. It's just one single side swing. Come on, man. Cool. I'm so low on HP. I'm so fucking low on HP and I don't even haven't even reached the checkpoint. Okay, so they won't chase me down. And I'm dead. Man, this is brutal. Although one thing so for sure, there is a learning curve in this that keeps on increasing my efficiency with more and more. That is cool. The environments look so bad, so cool, man. It's so good. Efficiency in combat, man. to use those very frequently if I have to get into this, get through this. That's a massive improvement in the Sekiro, uh, Sekiro concept honestly. Very good improvement there. And I'm loving this. I am fucking loving this. Why did you strike that early? It wasn't part of the plan. Was it to save that human child? If you always break with protocol, it's going to be really tough to execute our plans. It's very rare to see you get emotional. Understood. What's the underlying plot going on, which is very interesting. Save point, let's go. I want to see how the progression system works in this, because progression is definitely very important in games like these. You set off an intrusion alarm to unlock the gate, you must first take out the guards. Okay, they can actually do that. Fuck. It's so hard to deflect that. That attack, man, that attack is just insane. I have to deflect this. I wonder if this en encounter actually gets reset if I uh, if I go and, you know, arrest the bonfire. Okay, that doesn't get reset after arresting the bonfire, that's cool. I think there are some attacks like these which have to be dodged. Maybe, I'm just guessing. The animations are really sleek. Ugh, I'm, I'm loving this game. Although, as I said, it's definitely gonna need, uh, need a bit more upgrade and stuff like that. Okay, level, one, uh, level up skill point increased by 1. Okay, we have a skill tree. That's cool. I did not check that at all. We have a map also. Okay, there are, there is a massive... Massive progression system, that's great. So what's the skill point, skill trees like? Um, Iron Hammer, increase defense, take less damage. Gain some HP, uh, health when killing enemies with Chi Explosion. Full palm, increase damage inflicted when performing charging attacks. Oh man, there is a lot of things here. Increase maximum energy Chi. Bro, this is a lot of things here. Charm enhancements, enhance the damage inflicted by Chi Explosions. Reduce internal damage caused by imprecise deflection. Okay. Okay, let's just do this one. 
Let's go in. The art style is kind of cyberpunk yet. Oh, okay, we, we can actually die, fine. The kind of cyberpunkish, you know, and there is this. Oh man, I'm loving this. Oh man, it's so satisfying, that sound. Did you hear the sound? Let's go. Okay, I think that's a healing or maybe it restores my HP thing. Man, I'm loving doing it. I'm loving it, man. Oof, all right, all right, all right, all right. This game, 2023. This is the 2023 game, man. This is the game of 2023. Unless Hollow Knight Sales Song comes out, I don't know about that, what happens after that, but this seems like a good competition for Hollow Knight. Six skills! Dude. Dude, yes. I'm guessing this is a boss fight over here. Yep, it's a boss fight. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's trigger a little. A bit of frame drops in this part, actually. The frames are kind of really strange. Okay, I blocked that. Finish your side, boy. Let's go. Um, I'm missing something. Oh, I have to interact over here. Thank you for playing Nine Souls. Uh, if you liked it, welcome. All channels which sent you have been unlocked. Well, that's uh, this is it, man. This was the demo, and wow. Okay, this is going to be an epic game if they can build up further into it. I think the animations need to be a bit more smoother or maybe this is their style I'm not really sure but even at this stage it's still amazing game improvements are definitely needed the, like as I said the movements kind of feels heavy but then again maybe that's the style that they are looking eagerly waiting for 2023 for the final game man this is going to be absolutely fucking amazing anyways the link to this game will be down on the description to so please do check it out if you really enjoyed watching this and if you really think that this game is going to be something that you would really love to play with all that said and done this is the first episode of indie wednesday hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you guys on the next one see ya